In this lesson, I want to quickly talk about IntelliJ IDEA and IDEs. So one of the things that I always tell developers is that you should always use the tools that are going to make you most productive. So for some people, it may be one tool. For others, they may be comfortable in another tool. Don't get caught up in what everyone else is using. Use what you feel comfortable using and what makes you a productive developer. Now with that said, John and I both really love IntelliJ IDEA. And as you already saw in the first section, I'm using IntelliJ for all of my development. So now I am using IntelliJ Ultimate, and that's what we'll both be using throughout the course, but you do not need to use that. If you like something else like uh, STS and Eclipse, or NetBeans, or whatever it may be, some just uh, text editor, feel free to use that, but I will make a case for IntelliJ really quick. So one thing that always gets people hung up on IntelliJ is the cost. And I get it, you're paying for something. But again, for me, it makes me more productive, so I don't mind paying for it. I pay for a personal license and I have it at work. But one thing people always do is they come to this buy section and they see how much it costs and they're just like, oh, I can't afford that. You gotta go into individual customers and I'm, I understand that you may not wanna pay $249 for all packs or $149 for the year, but you get a 30 day free trial. So take that into account. If you've never used it, download the free trial and use it for 30 days while you're going through this course. If you're still not convinced that you're gonna use it for the whole year, there is a pay monthly option. So you can pay $14.90 a month which is breaks down to 50 cents a day to use what I think is one of the best full featured IDs on the market. So with that, that's where we are. But please, I, I always get questions with people saying, can you do a video of that in STS or Eclipse? There is no difference. The code is going to be the same. It's just how you use the ID to kind of help you facilitate and produce that code. Now, one thing I will say is, that I don't know what Eclipse's plugins are or NetBeans plugins are for, for the front end, but IntelliJ Ultimate has kind of WebStorm built into it, which gives you great support for HTML5, JavaScript, TypeScript, and even in our case, Angular. So like when I'm in an Angular component here and I add a new task, it will automatically add that import for me, which again is a, just another time saver that it helps with. Uh, another question I always get asked is what theme am I using? I'm actually using the material theme. If you just go up to uh, your preferences, you can go into plugins and look for the material theme plugin. Uh, it gives you, I, I like this nice color coding font and spacing. So, but again, use what you like, use what's comfortable to you. And the idea of the idea, no pun intended. Uh, the idea behind an IDE is to make you productive. So use the tools that you feel are going to help you be a productive developer. So with that, let's go ahead and move on.